Happy birthday to Ryan. Yeah. Even though it was a month ago. <laughs> but it took us a while. Because it came from Argentina. <laughs> nice. Gummy Krabby Patties. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to edit that. <laughs> the big sensor bar on it. <laughs> that is awesome. Where can you get this? Disney Movie Point Club really? thing online. Now this next one came all the way from Argentina. It's a pretty stupid gift for the average schmo. But a pretty awesome gift. But pretty right. awesome at the same time. I got it on uh, virgins.com. Confetti! <laughs> Just remember, it's genuine. It is genuine. That is awesome. What is it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta try this. Done one. it. And you can adjust it too. That so is too awesome. <laughs> Put the hood on. <laughs> Put the hood on. <laughs> you have failed this city! <laughs> That's all I wanted him to do. That's awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. Oliver Woody over here. <laughs> another day, another dollar. I wish it was as much as a dollar. What up guys, so today is a wonderful Tuesday and um, I'm by myself today. And so I thought today would be a great opportunity to do like a little Q&A thing. So I'm gonna have, um, you know, people uh, ask me questions over Facebook. It is 7.58 a.m. And today's kind of exciting because, you know, uh, I need coffee. I am not very in exciting right now. Get, hold on, hold please. Greetings. I have had my coffee. I'm currently on my break, and so I'm gonna start answering these questions. So I put a status on our uh, the Wasting Money Facebook asking for questions. There are 62 questions as of right now. Holy crap, least favorite movie. Either Nothing But Trouble or Hardly Working. Nothing But Trouble only because it's like John Candy and Chevy Chase and Dan Aykroyd like playing multiple roles. And there's great makeup and great sets throughout the movie, but it's just kind of dark and tasteless and overall not funny. What's the most amount of money you've spent on a single Blu-ray? As of now, it's just every once in a while I'll buy a new release. I'm currently looking for the movie Nightbreed. Oop. The cheapest I've seen it is for like 50 bucks. I might have to shell that out. So if that happens, that's the answer. Favorite horror movie. When it comes to slashers, either Halloween or A New Nightmare. Non-slasher wise, The Shining. What are your three favorite movie franchises? James Bond, Die Hard, and the original Star Wars. How are ya, John? I don't answer philosophical questions. What are your top three foreign films? Life is Beautiful. Pan's Labyrinth, and any Sylvester Stallone movie. Not necessarily foreign language, but I need to turn on the subtitles. <laughs> Next question. It's the longest I've gone without buying a Blu-ray. I don't know for sure, but I think about a month. I had that retiring from Blu-ray video, and I think I went like a month without buying one. Why do you puck behind Best Buy? It's a straight shot from where my house is, and there's no fight for parking. What's your guilty pleasure? The King? is Batman and Robin. What are you studying or were previously studying? I got my major in communication. Who are your top five favorite directors? Scorsese, Albert Brooks, James Cameron pre-Titanic, Terry Gilliam, Tarantino. Interstellar, never seen it, but we just, we have the codes for that, hold on. First come, first serve, but now I can't watch it. How many Blu-rays do I own? More than 10. Do I like Star Wars? Yes and meh. If you choose any remake, what would it be? So what movie would I, would I want to remake of? Masters of the Universe. I think they are remaking it, but it needs a good budget and a good script. Best films of my childhood. The one I watched the most was Abed and Costello meet Frankenstein. What is life? A waiting line for death. 
Um, what is your favorite movie, Alien or Aliens? Aliens. Can you give me Blu-rays? PM me your address and I will send you one if you live in the U.S. I'm just a giving tree today, aren't I? This one's from my boss upstairs. What are your favorite actors and actresses and why? All of these people. Why? Because they're good. And in some cases, they're just really good looking. Favorite horror movie or horror franchise? I already answered this. Why don't you respond to FB comments or messages? Is it because I'm ugly? Yes. Favorite comedy of all time? Defending your life. If you had to watch one bad movie for the rest of your life, what would it be? Last Airbender. And I will be watching that for the rest of my life. Have you seen Stand By Me? Only the scene where they come out of the pond and there's leeches all over their bodies. And then one of the kids looks inside their underwear. They're like, uh, guys. And then that's where I flip the channel. And I've never looked back. Most regretted purchase. The Batman Steelbook. It marks up easily. And there is a Digibook now. And then there's like this Diamond Edition. And I would rather take either of those. Favorite actor of all time. Sean Connery. Have I been to Norway? No way. No, I haven't. Release videos more frequently or the Ken dog gets it. You have 24 hours. If you touch him, I will kill you. What is the best method to send you Blu-rays? Owl. An owl. No. You can PM me if you'd like, but you don't need to do that. Will you ever bring back your horror movie diggins? I've really wanted to, but I just feel like no one really digs the diggins. How did you meet Ryan and Venus? I'll post pictures and maybe some videos. Ryan I met in high school. He was in an instrumental rock band. They were looking for a singer. I tried out and I made it. Our band name was Broken Soldiers. We had fun, but our music was pretty awful. Then that band broke up, but me and Anderson kept playing together. We got into a new band, APS. And then Dennis, he was just starting to learn the keyboards and he was Ryan's friend, so we we took him on in. Top three albums to listen to, and what's your thoughts on modern horror remakes? Top three albums currently, uh, The Ramones, their last live album, We're Out of Here. I love Joey's vocals on that. Volbeat's new album is in my car, and Morrissey. Horror remakes? Like so many people, that concept of a remake is just not very exciting, and we're nostalgically connected most of the time to the original, so it never works out. I always thought that if Rob Zombie made those two Halloween movies, sequels, we'd actually love them because they'd be a really exciting and fresh extension of the story as opposed to, hey guys, I'm Rob Zombie and I'm going to try and make this better and, and restart this whole thing. Don't freak out. Dennis and Ryan just called me. We're going to go see Furious 7 right now. <laughs> John's here. John's here. Dennis is here. Brian's here. The movie's at 5.15 and the time is I don't have... It's 5.02. So it takes about 20 minutes to get to the theater. You guys got uh, movie tickets for this movie from some Blu-rays that you got it. What did yes. you get Blu-ray wise? The Thrace. The Thrace 2. Anderson, it's time, it, you have to drive fast and furiously. And I sevenly. And really. sevenly. Have you guys seen all the Fast and Furious movies? Not all of them. I'm okay. trying to remember six. I don't. I'm trying to remember all of them because I haven't seen any of them. What? <laughs> yeah. Really? I've seen one, three, <laughs> four. And uh, what Star Wars movies I might have, have seen, you seen? No, I haven't seen five. Um, three. Three, four, and six. <laughs> the last half of four. <laughs> what have you seen of Harry Potter? Four, I watched the whole series again. Yeah. Before that, it was just one, six, and seven. You Strangely enough, I actually caught on. You live a confusing life, don't you? Yeah. Hurry up. Hurry up. <laughs> Sam, say hi. Why is it going to Google Maps? Stop fingering the machine. It's too heavy. Yes. Huh? I think it They're not going to check your purse. I put a bunch of food in your purse. What are you going to say? That you put it all I'm in the theater person. Do hey, can I check your me. purse for food? <laughs> what are you going to say? Sure. No, you say, I'm in America. It's showtime. And you, don't, you can't do that. I think they can. Oh, this is such a cool movie here. Avengers! I wonder if I can take that home with me. I feel like I'm walking into like laser class. See you after the movie. What a gag! We just got out of scene fast and curious. I almost cried at the end. Actually, I did start a little bit, but I'm not gonna spoil anything, but Because yeah. Jason Statham was locked up? Wait, what? Oh, no, 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 no. That did remind me of uh, 
the metahumans from the flesh, you know, when they lock them up. So Dennis, what do you think? <laughs> this is a great dick flick. It really is. It's like Sex in the City for guys. Like, really colorful, lots of pretty outfits. They go to different towns. Like, literally, it's Sex in the City for It's guys. fabulous for men. It is. They, they wear cars instead of dresses. Yeah. Even in Sex and the City 2, they go to Abu Dhabi. Oh, yeah, of course. Sex and the City 2, Abu Dhabi. Everyone knows that who watches this channel. I was going to say also, Kenny had some uh, elements of James Bond in there. They're going to start having theme songs. Fast and Furious 8. I do have to say, <laughs> I have heard a lot about this, and actually seeing it was interesting. What they did to fill Paul Walker's spot for the rest of the movie is... You guys probably know. Uh, he did pass away uh, during the filming. Wait, well, what? It was outside. Wait, what? What? He did? He did. Wait, what? They didn't finish the movie yet. So he just kind of walked off the set? Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny if it's about a dead person. Because his name is Walker. I know. Yeah, I was debating on going with it. but more, you know, <laughs> If you didn't know that that happened during... Uh, the filming of that movie, you probably wouldn't have really noticed. Or you'd think, wow, why is he suddenly Pixar? Why does his face look funny? Yeah, at times he looked a little fake. But that's okay. From the director of Insidious. Really? And The Conjuring. What? Really? Anything other than horror movies? No. And then Paul Walker dies, and everyone's like, so is his ghost going to be in it? <laughs> Don't laugh. Hey, that's <laughs> insensitive. I'm oh, Anderson is so... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's not that funny. It's really sad. It is, yes. It no, no, no. Yes, it is. I choked up at the end. You did? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. You? Yeah. No. <laughs> hey. I was totally okay. He's dead. It was sad. And you don't care. I like the montage showing the friendship but after if, that but scene. If horse, I liked that. But if Horse Face died from Sex in the City, you would cry. Probably not. I don't like an emotional movies. Are you even a woman? I'm sorry. <laughs> We have your ovaries. Well, plus it just... It just <laughs> you complain about all the action scenes, and then it finally has a little bit of heart, and you're like, oh, this is... No, stupid. there was some heart other times, and... We were doing In the ending, if you haven't seen it, spoiler, I guess you could say, Vin Diesel's at a stop sign, all moping, kind of, and all of a sudden a car pulls up next to him. It's Paul Walker, and he's in a white car, all white. So I, I symbolize that as, like, heaven. Like, just a solid white car. He drives off into the sunset. It's like, oh... Mm -hmm. It's symbolic. Off a cliff. In the part when they're at the funeral for the one guy, and they were like, no more funerals, man, and Paul Walker's like, one more. And then it stops, and then he went his. And he was talking about the bad guy, but oh. I was like... Oh, yeah. yeah. It's kind of hard when oh, they already wow. filmed that. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. how do you go back? I know, it was just strange. There's kind of no way to... He's like, one more, my own. <laughs>